All right, so here we are with another Mega Man Builder episode. Um, I have been sitting around and looking through Gamer from the Webs, uh, get the punk out, uh, checking out his stage a little bit. And yeah, it's not going to be easy to give tips on Gamer from the Webs uh, stage here, but I can give some pointers that I think so it should be changed. Um, the biggest one is, um, I believe this is supposed to be Metal Man's, a Metal Man remixed stage, you know, for the Mega Man Maker uh, contest, you know, Retro Redux uh, contest, uh, when you're supposed to build a classic revamped stage of an old NES title. And to me, this did not feel, I mean, it's a nice stage, but it did not feel, is the point I'm trying to make. It did not feel like a Metal Man stage. Um, so yeah, I f that's going to be to its detriment, I feel like. Um, yeah, we could also do that, you know, see now the pillars go up there. Now it's all rounded, but if we drag, drag all of this down here, as I just did there, then just open up the map, you know, tag this away, put it down here and delete it. Now, oops. Now we have, you know, cleaner tiles here and this looks like it goes off screen there. That looks a little bit better. IMO. Um, yeah, we could probably also just <clears throat> try and decorate a little bit differently here just to get some more shapes here. I will probably also not have those there because they don't really like having those yellow squares here don't really fuse that well with the wall, I don't think. Um, so I think this fits better personally. And by adding a darker background, I think also the colors pop out a little bit better um, for the stage. Uh, just my opinion though. Um, yeah, so that's another thing. Um, personally, I feel like with the with the darker backgrounds here throughout the stage, that it pops out better than it does currently. Um, like, I think the tiles glow better. Um, here they are. I don't know. It looks a little bit more damp, I guess you could say. Yeah, here we have this too, uh, with the tiles that I don't like. <laughs> Leaving it like that. I'd rather just uh, sink it all down one tile, you know, just so that it flat, it is flat and, you know, I don't know. Yeah, we'll be going through this later. I don't know if this necessarily warrants bombs right there, if it's going to look weird either way. Um, mm, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's going, this is going to be tough. Um, mm, let's start here anyway. Um, the beginning is fine, I guess. Um, Mega Man is falling down here. And uh, yeah, we have some enemies. Take them out. Fall down here. We can make this a lot easier by doing that, which is nice. And we can fall down this here. And yeah, here we have the first gimmick introduction. To me, since that is the very first gimmick introduction of the whole stage, um, like, first off, uh, to me, like, this looks weird when it's like this. I mean, I, I realize you want that the blocks to, like, or the lift to sink down there. I think, though, I, I still, however, think that it might be nicer to just do something else here, um, make it look cleaner. Um, um, and we could put this here, something or rather. Um, I don't know how much I will be cutting here. Like um, I will try and make this a lot quicker than the previous uh, stage build that I made because it was a pain in the arse to sit through and edit all together. A freaking pain. And I don't know why we haven't done this here. Um, could just do this. And I don't know. To me, well, okay, first of all, let's just fix this so we don't have this like that. Okay, now, um, does, it look, does this look better? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, perhaps that's not for the best to do it like that. Hmm. Could that work, perhaps? Uh. Eh, I 
don't know. Let's just put this back. Um. Yeah. Let us go back to the original here. Let me just get this. And rip. Back to the original. But at the very least, I would probably do something like this. Um. Maybe even extend that and just do this instead. Put it there, there. Put something down here. Clean it up. Take it and drag it away. And delete. And now it looks nice. Um, there. Probably do it like that. Perhaps even do that. Yeah. I don't know. Something like this. I think this is a little bit better. I'd rather have this a little bit wider gap here when you fall down. I think that looks cleaner, basically. Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. I think that looks better. Um, maybe you disagree, but you know that's just how I see it. And now this here looks a lot cleaner and plays a lot smoother than before. So yeah, I would definitely try and uh, reshape your gimmick usage here to make it easier to navigate especially the first time you see it as it was before it felt a little bit clunky so i definitely would suggest you make these a little bit more spacious you know uh gaming from the web um hmm, yeah that's not bad either maybe we could just slope these and put this here <laughs> just a suggestion hmm. yeah that doesn't look half, half bad either Although the stage gets awfully bright uh, with all this here, maybe that this here really is a little bit better because it dampens it dampens all the brightness down a little bit. But I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so that's some suggestion. Like these enemies here, I think are fine too. We have these um, to make it easier. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, then we have the timed bombs. Let's just see how it plays out here. <clears throat> yeah, let's not. Oh, did I mess something up here now? Was it like that, perhaps? I don't know, I don't remember. But yeah, let's just play this here. Let's just play it out. Okay, and there we have an E tank. And uh, yeah, let's just get it. It's really easy, as long as you don't F things up. That's a nice little mini challenge there. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just sitting here swapping things around. Um, uh, personally, like, see, let's see, how was it in the beginning? I don't think I remember. I think it was like this. Um, I don't know. Like, it's fine as it is. Um, oopsie doopsie. Now we. Gone, th gone fuck things up. Um, yeah, this looks fine. Although I like having the spikes here. Something like that. I think that it fills it up a little bit. And we have those. I only use those spikes because I believe. Yeah, they are used here later on. Um, but yeah, I think that could look nice there. And perhaps I would probably put a locked screen there. I think I think that would be better. Um, let's see here how it feels. Come here and yeah, here we have this. Then we can just easily reset. Maybe since this is the first bomb puzzle, maybe you know, maybe there should be a safeguard here. Like if you mess up the first bomb or something. Um, so that the player can get back up. It depends how hard you want the stage to be. Um, uh, so, you know, if the player kind of messes this up for whatever reason, uh, then, yeah, then this will uh, even be there to help out. But if, if for some reason th something goes wrong, you can very easily and faster, you know, you don't have to, like, if it's like this, you're going to have to run back further. Or maybe, maybe you can just reset it like this. Okay. Yeah, okay, I don't know. But still, I would probably still use it like this. I think that 
chunks it uh, together more nicely. Here, we should definitely keep the smooth scrolling transition, I feel like. Um, here, this is probably my main concern. I would probably just do the same treatment here, you know, just lower it. Just so that it looks a little bit nicer. Let's see how it plays out. Hmm. Home, home, home. I don't know. It's so, so tough, but at the very least, I feel like, like, if it's like this, it feels a lot more smoother to move through, like, as it was before, um, I'm going to reload the stage and go back there. As it was before, it feels rather cramped and very easy to, like, if you just mistime it a little bit, to uh, die there. It's very easy to die. Um, so just load the level. Now all the changes will be undone, but that's okay. If you just go back here now and play it like this, like, since it's such... Since this is like such a small jump up here, um, it it feels it feels very cramped. It's something. Is it like it's awkward to move through? It's more awkward and it's not feeling good moving through this. So I would definitely suggest that you just you know make it more spacious. Um, like I feel something that many players do in this game or many builders is they also always want to try and you know keep everything at max difficulty and you know press the char press the characters to the to their limits and i think that's not really necessary i think this like this feels much smoother and therefore it is better even though it is easier um so i think that this is a better way or this it's better to prioritize yeah, you know, movement so that it feels good to move through rather than uh, trying to punish the player for messing up. I feel like that is more important usually um, than the other way around. So, yeah, I would suggest that like all these press segments here definitely should be made more casual friendly and, you know, smoothen out so that it's not about moving through clunky sections and instead, and you see here too, this in my opinion, this looks weird. Um, looks very weird. Um, uh, yeah, like maybe everywhere where we have these, maybe it could have been nice to you know have have these little um, pits or whatever for the boxes. Um, so if we fall down here now, fall down, rip, and yeah. And the Puka Pelli. I don't know. They take a few few more hits, uh, but visually, I think that. Where are they? Um, there. These guys are faster, but they take only one hit. But at the same time, if we go with these, we could have some green and yellow ones um, coming in instead. Uh, we could have a more thematically um, colored enemy, you know coming at us here so like if you do that and yeah like as i done this trick a few times before like if you just fill in everything here like it looked like that before right but if you just do this and actually actually we used this before let's perhaps do that i don't know maybe not let's just do that add that there and it's funny in my in my station I'm working on, you know, currently I am using these types as well in this connection like this. So yeah, <laughs> funny coincidence there. But yeah, maybe do something like this here instead and remove that. Like, yeah, like see, it's all so, it's all so clunky, gamer from the web. It's so clunky. Um. You know, just try and work work it out, I would say. Um, so now that we have these tiles here, like, do that. Then we just, as I showed before, like, we just take the empty rooms, the right away, 
delete them. Root, root. And now we have nice wishes while also keeping what we want here. Um, so let's try it out again. We go down. It looks a little bit better than before. IMO. Um, but no, you can't get up there. That's, man. Am I dumb or something? Perhaps just do that. Alright, we have these boxes here, so. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if I have uh, diverted myself too much from the original here. I don't even remember what it looked like. Um, I might have to reload the stage again, just so that we can go back and look and try again. But yeah, like, maybe it's a little bit too easy now. That's the issue here. This far into the stage gets a little bit too easy. Hmm. We could remedy that perhaps by making this taller. Put that down there. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's hard to say. Like, another thing, I don't remember if I said that before, but maybe, like, since it is supposed to be Metal Man stage, um, we don't have any conveyors anywhere. Like, if we wanted to spike up the difficulty a little bit, I guess we could be adding, starting to adding conveyor belts, you know, eventually here, so that, you know, you have to fight it against it a little bit, and that makes it a little bit harder, uh, you know. I, th I feel like that could be an interesting idea here, Gamer from the Web, and like the same down here. Like, what if we had uh, the conveyors down here? That could be interesting, right? That could be an interesting idea. So, like, if we do it like this instead, let's see here. Let's, let's all right, now this is uh, back to the clunkier thing here. Well, let's just... Quickly remedy that. There we are. Did not take a whole lot. So yeah, like basically change up these so that they are smoother to move through. Uh, that will increase the the fun aspect, uh, I would say. And perhaps you know, since it is supposed to be metal stage, why not add in those there to you know make it a little bit more engaging? Um, and like you, you're going to have to smooth out this whole tunnel here, gamer from the web, if you want uh, to. Uh, um, to make it a more a smoother experience and you know as i said before uh try perhaps and build in conveyors in your stage because it's supposed to be a metal man stage like to me i did not feel like this is a metal man stage uh at all um really it feels like a good stage with some cool gimmicks but it does not feel like metal man stage and yeah i don't know how much more i will build here i this checkpoint room here, like, we have had the same um, inside doors look here now, like, it could have been nice, like, if we made this a hard screen transition, you know, when you get past all of this, and, you know, you get out here, and we're on the outside, but, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Um, maybe we can have something like this instead for this part, since it's, you know, it looks like it's... <gasps> it looks like it could be an outside place, and then I would also... Like, to see how you have done here, like, these tiles look like they just quit existing, or, you know, it looks like they just cut off here and, in, in, you know, you know, just out in the open. Here, it's definitely recommend drag this down, you know, and then you go up in the, to the map, you know, remove, remove the screens, pull them down, all three of them. Now we delete them. As such and now when we're back here like now it looks like they go off screen here that looks a lot pret uh, a lot prettier than before if you ask me so yeah look this is a lot yeah I don't know I like this a lot more uh, than uh, how it was before um, let's see the other thing there to fix it uh, the glitch and here as well you know um, <laughs> we need more more smoothing out um, you know basically just change it all up uh, is what I will do and like this here is also a nice green tie like mm, like see it's not 
very nice, I don't think, to have the crash lifts going down on top of a spike. It looks... it doesn't look good, in my opinion. I would probably rather do something like this instead and probably lower this as such. And, uh, yeah, and... Mm, probably do something like this as well and again you know this is just personal preference you know as with everything and now we come here and yeah and yeah I, I don't like this glitch like how you start you know you can't move as it goes down here like I wonder what happens if we do that what happens mm, that looks kind of neat Never mind, okay. That would have been cool if it actually worked. But it seems like. It seems like it won't work. <laughs> yeah, now that's going to be messed. Messed up. Messed in the head. What if we heighten it a bit? What if? Maybe it fixes itself. Maybe. Eh? Nope. <laughs> No such luck, okay, so, yeah, let's just do this here then, chup chup chup, so the player comes in, then the blocks fall on top of here, and what the hell happened there, there we go, and geez, how long is this video, <laughs> slightly over an hour, half an hour now, um, but yeah, I don't know, hmm, Perhaps even increase the this here. I guess you had this going up higher before, just so that you would get crushed against the ceiling if you stood on them for too long. Perhaps I don't know. Now it's like that, and either way, um, no, no, no. And we have these met cannons here. Mm. I don't know, like it's... I don't know how well it works to fight on these, like since Mega Man starts bugging out, but maybe it could be nice having that guy there. It's just a shame that you start, you know, bugging out as you go down, but that might be something to think about instead of having the player be crushed against the roof. Um, make something perhaps with that instead. Um, I don't know, but essentially at the very least, you know, make... Make it seem everything is, uh, look uh, smoother than it is right now. Uh, I would definitely recommend do that at the very least. And I think this probably looks better. I don't know. It's hard to say. But yeah, I don't know. I think at the very least it would be nice like to fix these p pillars here, fix this you know once again. And I did not fix all of this in here. Um, but or you know fix. Uh, I'm, I'm saying I'm fixing it like I'm in the right all the time or something. Uh, I'm just working it to my liking, <laughs> to, how, to how I think it works best. You know, basically smoothness over um, over maneuvering, you know, in very tight quarters and, you know, easily getting glitched out. It's much better, you know, to make make plenty of space, try and mix these. Maybe, maybe this here could be another spot for the conveyor belt, <laughs> you know. If you want to be really, really freaking dickish. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this doesn't look really nice, but yeah. Well, then again, that doesn't work all that bad, uh, but it doesn't look very nice. But yeah, here, at the very least, that conveyor could be there. That looks kind of neat, I guess, or works kind of neat. Hmm. Maybe. More conveyors, I think, would have been nice at either way, either rate, like... We're coming here. Yeah, but it's so it's so buggy. Um, I have experiments experimented with this myself before, but I just don't like how Mega Man starts spying out when you go down on lifts. Uh, the same happens with foot holders, and you know Mega Man stands on them as they move up and down. You still will start glitching out. But yeah, this could be an idea. You know, making this um, an outdoor segments, and then you know 
perhaps we could have the you know shifting to indoors here again and you know same here here we have time bombs mixed with these um, yeah I don't know I don't know uh, I will say this like I definitely feel like this is a stronger stage than most others out there but there are some uh, weird things about it. like here you know as I pointed out in the Elekman Redux stage like don't leave ties like that it looks bad um, in my opinion um, there are definitely a number of things that needs to be reworked here especially if we want to be able to beat people uh, such as Tremic one like he does not yeah he does not hold back his punches you know <laughs> when it comes to making everything look perfect um, if we if we really want to win here if we want to win if you want to win here uh, gamer from the web um, you're going to have to rework your, your stage um, and try and smoothen out all the clunky parts visuals it's fine uh, but it's nothing um, spectacular either I would say um, the gimmicks is probably the most fun part that you came up with here um, the crushing blocks and you know as per usual you have some pretty fine enemy placements and all of that as well so you know your stage is definitely gonna be in the upper in the upper echelon I guess you could say of uh, of of the contest uh, of the people that that's, uh, that that will be entering the contest so but yeah I'm not sure if this will take the cake um, I'm not sure that it will. Um, I think that a lot of work is still to be done here, and I don't know how much time you have left, but yeah. Mm. Either way, let's just see how this plays out. Okay, so that bugged out there. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, I would probably start the lifts a little bit lower down they might still bug through but yeah as you see uh -huh, so that's why you have them on the same okay yeah see this is an issue like you should never make it like this I mean when it's smooth scrolling and uh, craft lifts going up and down I don't know if they could can they desync? Maybe they can't. Okay, never mind. They can't be desynced. I thought they could be desynced thanks to this. I thought that you would have to make sure that to have a you know, uh, yeah, you know, this screen transition so that you come in and everything loads at the same time. But apparently this works. But yeah, let's see here now. And yeah, you know, same thing here. Drag this up above. And. Just delete so that these pillars here go off screen and not you know just uh, end up you know like this here you can see that it doesn't go off screen I, that's another pet peeve but it is important if you if you want to uh, you know squeeze out every last ounce of of um, polish so we have these bombs here and we go okay that isn't so bad I guess but yeah. Huh. Here I would probably just heighten this instead. Heighten, heighten, heighten. Let's see. Urg. Urg. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't gone insane, I promise. Let's just remove, go back, and try again. Okay, so we moved down the bomb here, like, now it feels a little bit smoother jumping up there, I feel like, which is a good thing. Um, let's also do this here instead like make everything more spacious to move through is my suggestion can you even die here 
Have I done something weird? Okay, now good, you can definitely die. All is well when you can die in Mega Man. Oh yeah. But yeah, I feel like this here, um, see, it's... Erg. Bug the player out, I mean, this pillar, you know, you saw how I sunk into it. It might be best to just raise it, you know, just to avoid that. Like, I'd rather have less glitches, um, you know, smoother movement. Like, it doesn't look as good. This looks better. Um, but it gets more, it gets very claustrophobic and you increase the risk of the player, you know, getting screwed over and the bomb explodes and you can't progress uh, without going back and forth. Um, so that is something also to think about, but yeah, you know, basically just make it more spacious. Make it more spacious. Let me come down over here. Okay, we have a tried and, <laughs> tried and true bomb run segment. Yeah, you know, same here. Willing to bet that we are going to need to, yeah, like see here too. Like I would not keep it like that. I think it looks bad. Uh, it doesn't look good. Like it just doesn't look good. That looks much smoother. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely keep it like that instead. And here I would probably. Do this just to close off the red laser stage. That looks kind of neat. Let's see how this plays out. And now the beams are sticking out there. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say. Let's re <laughs> let's reroll. Let's uh, re reload that one. Man, this is going to be a mess to edit together. <laughs> man, oh man! Going to be one hell of a mess to add it together. But yeah, you know, you saw how that how I did there earlier. Um, so you probably have an idea. Like basically, try and make everything um, smoother to move through. Like definitely, and you know, fix all of this. Poof, 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 poof. No, just just fi fix it. Fix it up. And, you know, do the glitch there. Remove it and. Yeah, I would probably move this back. He looks a little bit up in the face as he is right there. Let's see. And that is not supposed... Is this supposed to be like that? That would be really weird. I think it's supposed to be like this. Yeah, I think that looks and feels better when you move up onto him. Let's see this again. Yeah, that's... It's so... It's so uh, claustrophobic, you know. <laughs> it feels so cramped in here. Um, I definitely would recommend that you make every that you make everything more spacious gaming from the web and there are a lot of very tough jumps in this stage as well so dying can potentially frustrate people um I would say you need to down scale the difficulty try and mix in like make it more spacious make it more open and easier to move through but try and compensate it by adding you know uh, conveyor belts and other things you know to make it trickier instead like make it more spacious but add other elements uh, to surprise the player instead. Uh, no, I don't even remember how I did that last time, but yeah. But yeah, ho hopefully you get the point. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. I have been showing a lot of tricks, you know, what how you can change up things. You know, I hope I hope I came with some insight. Um, now everything here is back to the original, but you know, you can just go back and forth through the stage there. So yeah. Hopefully it has been a helpful gamer from the web. Um, like, it is not easy to rebuild, you know, or try and help a stage, you know, that you have built because you're definitely on a lot higher level than most people. Um, but you do tend to go, um, you do tend to build very, well, not very hard, but you do tend to build stages that are a little bit harder. So I think that you, uh, and you know, a little bit cramped. So I think that you need to try and open up your stages Try and um, make it less cramped. Uh, try and open it up, and you know, make it easier to move through. More, make it more fun to move through instead of you know, so um, instead of having it all so cramped everywhere, it feels yeah, and like 
yeah, you, you saw how I did this earlier. <laughs> um, there are a lot of things to improve here to make it a nicer experience is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, Basically, I think that you should include more of uh, conveyor belts because it's supposed to be a metal man stage, I guess. And metal man is, um, you know, his main gimmick are the conveyors. And as it is right now in the unedited version, um, there are only conveyors in the in here. And instead, we have the crash uh, lips here with the blocks, which are a neat gimmick in itself, a very neat gimmick. But it doesn't feel like a metal man stage. Uh, so I don't know how much time you have left, but I think that you should make some heavy revisions to the stage, make it feel more like a Metal Man stage, and perhaps even add more like Mega Man uh, 2 enemies. Like, we haven't seen these at all, and it's a Metal Man stage. Like, instead of having the shield attackers everywhere, maybe we could try and like also work these guys in, like, or something. Yeah, now he comes in there and you know, maybe you could make it Maybe you could make it as such, maybe this could be neat, like, do that This doesn't look perfect, but yeah, look, like now, like the player might just shoot the clown and No, okay, <laughs> can't quite, can't quite jump over it, um, can't quite jump over it, so that is not going to work, but like yeah, move him back instead then, I guess, or something. But yeah, like perhaps try and bring in some more Mega Man 2 enemies instead, uh, rework some of the enemies. Um, I don't, th these don't feel like Metal Man enemies to me. Um, yeah, these would fit in color wise, but I'm not sure how they would fit in. Um, with the layout of this stage, but yeah, anyway, this has been going on for 50 minutes now. I'm going to sit down and edit it, and hopefully you like what you see. Hopefully you th uh, hopefully you don't despise my, my ideas here, um, and hopefully I haven't uh, sounded like a complete dick. And if I have, you know, feel free to say so. <laughs> feel free to, um, yeah, okay, uh, that, that would be it for that. <laughs> I'll stop talking now and just shut up. Um, at at either rate, uh, I hope you do well in the um contest there, Gamer from the Web, because you're definitely a you're definitely a better builder than most people. You know, you have come a long way since you started out. So yeah, it's really nice to see that you keep building and that you keep sticking around. That it's you know, it's always fun in my opinion to play your levels because always when I play them, you know something funny tends to happen and you know sometimes we get to see very nice visuals and yeah i always feel like your status has some interesting going on with either gimmicks or any replacement so yeah it's definitely is a lot of fun to play your stages but yeah i'll just leave it at that i've been going on for 50 minutes i'm going to edit this down to a hopefully 20 minute video so yeah thank you guys for watching and have a nice day